All right, next up, uh, San Diego State and Oregon State. Uh, we got the Beavers, 24-point home favorites, um, 47 the total in this game. Um, this is the very first bet I made uh, this week in college football. I jumped on 22-and-a-half with Oregon State uh, in this game, laying the points with the Beavers. It's up to 24 now. San Diego State's not a good football team. I, I mean, I don't know how many more times to say that. Brady Hoke's got this team going into the ditch. Jalen Maiden is not improving at quarterback. Their offensive line is hit or miss. And more than anything, this is not anywhere close to – Rocky Long is just shaking his head over in Syracuse where he's coaching now, watching this team on the defensive side of the football. They're a sieve now. Like UCLA did anything they wanted offensively. And breaking these big run plays against mm-hmm. a team that's prided themselves for years on stopping the run and being strong on the defensive line in the trenches, you can't even – you can't even – there's no resemblance of previous San Diego state defense. You can't even recognize them right now on the defensive side of the football. Uh, It's just not a good team. When UCLA in a game that you've got circled in your home stadium, CBS Saturday night, when does San Diego state ever get a CBS Saturday night national TV home game, UCLA coming in and you shit the bed like that and lay an egg like that. You're not a good football team. UCLA, it was, by the way, and I like Dante Moore. I think he's going to be a pretty good quarterback, very highly recruited. But he's coming in there and rolling over you. This is just not a good football team. And now you got to play this Oregon State team that you know we love Jonathan Smith. Connor does. I do. He's done an incredible job. They're now one of the better teams in the Pac-12. It's time to say that uh, about Oregon State. They've got the de- the defense, I think, is one of the – it's probably the best defense – that Oregon State has had in a very long time. Mm-hmm. DJ Uyunglele, the Clemson transfer, looks very comfortable. Looks like he's found new life running this. It looks offense. like the weight's off his shoulders, off his <laughs> at shoulders. least right now. Yeah, he's having fun again. You see the smile on his face. He's happy to be here uh, in Corvallis. He tracked down Smith. Funny story about how he got to Oregon State. He tracked down Jonathan Smith and the Oregon State team, saying, "I'd really like to play for you guys." Because, you know, I think I could be a good fit. You're looking for a, probably an upgrade at the quarterback spot. And they initially turned him down, or at least they said, we'll wait and see. And he was, you know, he had to keep hammering away that, you know, he, come on, I want to go to Oregon State and, you know, bring me on. And finally that happened. And I think now uh, John Lynn Smith and the coaching staff are happy about that. I mean, it's early. They're going to have a tough Pac-12 schedule. I get that. But certainly DJ Uyunglele lays look very good. This uh, running back for uh, Oregon State is outstanding, too. And we know now this team can't stop the run anymore, San Diego State. So good luck stopping Damian Martinez uh, for uh, uh, San Diego State, this great running back that the Beavers have. So I'm totally come at a tough place to play, tough place to win now for any road team. We know how good Oregon State can be at home. I think this is an ugly one for the Aztecs. Uh, I think Oregon State can get this upwards of four touchdowns in this game. What do you think here, Connor? I agree with you. This is one where just horrible San Diego State is. You talked about the defense with the game that should have been circled, which was a loss that I had, and three picks. That was just it was just like, come on, uh, about the offense. Just looked pathetic on both sides of the ball. I'd lay it here, too. This is a little out here at 24, but they're at home. You know what I thought the biggest joke of it was? Was Oregon State against, uh, was it UC Davis who they played last was, week? Yeah, UC Davis. 55-7. Yeah, their first two They games. were 23-and-a-half-point favorites. I was just like, I know they're one of the better schools, you know, for who they play. I'm like, this is wild. This is the same number here. And it was, you know, I got 23-and-a-half. Uh, and that was my biggest bet on Saturday. And they just 55-7. Um, at home, this is where we want them. I'd lay it here, too, until I see something different. San Diego State uh, football is in a bad way right now. You see what Oregon State's done at home going back to last year? 24-10 over Washington State win and cover. 42-9 against Colorado when they were bad. Uh, Mm -hmm. 22-point home favorite. 38-10 over Cal at home. 10.5 point favorite. Uh, They won at a pick against Oregon last year at home. They've turned this home field into you don't want to play there uh, as an opponent. It's always been good, but now that – and I love the defense – like yeah. you talked about, they had a pretty good defense a couple of years ago, 21. I mean, they were still pretty good last year, but yeah, look out. No, one of, it's, 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 this is one of my favorite bets in, in the upcoming week in uh, college football. That's why I bet it early. And I also, because I knew the line would move uh, and it happened.